Okay, so these new Callaway irons are 2,000 pounds for a set. Let's see how they fly. Oh, 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 wow! That's the one. Okay, you didn't hear me wrong. <laughs> These are the brand new Callaway Apex TI Fusion. And for a set, from four down to pitching wedge, £2,000. Now, not the most expensive irons I've ever tested, far from it. However, that is very, very, very pricey for a set of irons. It's really interesting. Callaway, and I want to use this line, they believe they've made this iron with advanced titanium face and hollow body provides unimaginable feel. Unimaginable. Let's talk a little bit more about technology as well. These are ultra premium irons and apparently Callaway's most advanced irons ever. Industry first forged titanium face, which promotes faster ball speeds for increased power and speed. And titanium really, you see that in drivers, yes, but never in irons. Well, they've managed to use titanium that is, again, normally using drivers to create a larger sweet spot on an iron, which is much larger than if you made it from steel. And these are available only in this black finish. And I'm glad they're only made in this black finish because they look absolutely phenomenal. Like every bit of it looks great. I love the shaping of the head. Uh, it's actually behind the golf ball. They're not super chunky. Like they're actually quite somewhat bladed. Um, they almost remind me, head shape wise, of like a, as a bit of a comparison, like a tailor made P770 slash P790, somewhere in between those two. Uh, loft wise, for the 7 iron, it's 30.5 degrees, so this is going to come out pretty hot. I've put the flag out there at 190, give these a hit. We'll hit some 7 irons, we'll hit some 4 irons, we'll hit some pitching wedges. And like you saw from that opening shot that I started the video with, that was struck absolutely in the middle. That's the first shot I've ever hit with these clubs. And it, it did feel good. It felt very good. Right, let's give these a hit. As I mentioned, they look great behind the ball. I like this kind of black shaft as well. This is a dynamic gold, tour issue, uh, black grip, pretty much, you know, it's just the so sleek. I think the only thing, and obviously it's dynamic gold, so they made it out of gold. I actually like that to have been kind of maybe blacked out. Just it's the only thing that kind of stands out on the golf club and it'd be nice if that was all blacked out as well. Right. Let's give this a rip. Like I said, I've put the flag there at 190, which is further than I normally would hit a seven iron. But these lofts are pretty strong. That's a nice feeling iron. Just landed short of that 190. That's a nice feeling iron. I mean, it doesn't, without reading the kind of spiel, I wouldn't know that it was a titanium face. It's got forge stamp there on the on the neck, which often kind of is that forging process that makes the iron feel softer. But maybe before hitting, I expected it to be maybe a louder sound off the face, like more of a tingy, poppy kind of driver sound, but it doesn't. I mean, those two first strikes sounded like a, a regular made steel iron. It does look good. I give credit where credit is due. They are a good looking set of irons, right? Let's hit a few more shots with the seven. Now, the only thing with these irons is who are they actually aimed at? Because you've got the head shape of what I would say is more geared towards slightly, I don't know, maybe a slightly better golfer. But then you've got the titanium face, which is to help with speed and forgiveness, making that sweet spot bigger. You've got the lofts being quite jacked up, quite strong. To me, it's the, it's the golfer who just loves luxury, I guess. It's the golfer that's quite happy to pay probably double the price of a very nice set of irons now. You know, a normal set of irons now is, it's a shame, but you don't really get a lot of change out of a thousand pounds anymore. These are double the price, but they do look fantastic. Whether they bring out titanium faced irons in other lines where it's not as expensive, but I don't see that being the case if it drives up the price. That's nice. Is it unimaginable feel? 
unimaginable. It's hard to imagine, isn't it? It's like, they feel great. They feel very, very nice, but I'm not sure of unimaginable. Let's see if that, that does have a little bit of a different sound when I do that. If I, if in fact, I've actually got the new set. That's the old one. But I've got the new set of P770s here. Let's see if there's any difference in sound. Quite similar, actually, isn't it? Let's go a little off the cuff comparison. Let's just hit this P777 iron just for feel and see if there's any difference in distance. Okay, so let's just hit the P770 now. Distance wise, it's not gonna match the distance because the loft of this is 33 degrees. I just wanna get a feel, like does it feel that much different? Mm, wasn't my best strike, let's go another one. Hit it better than that. That was middled. Oh, it's really hard to say. Comparing seven to seven irons, the, the reason why it's slightly hard to say is because the loft is stronger with the Callaway, so it feels like, and it is coming out hotter. And sometimes that hotness kind of dictates your feel sometimes. I feel it's close. So it's that close, I'm struggling to even call it. They, they actually feel very, very, very kind of similar to each other, really. All right, let's hit one more with the, the Callaway again. Solid. That was solid. There's so little in it. It's going further, this iron, obviously, because it's stronger, but there's there's no I can't separate them feel-wise. This does feel good though, but so does that. There's this feel obviously compared to the Taylor May, it's not twice as much, but it's a significant amount more. It's probably another 800 pound a set more. Is it 800 pounds a set more better feeling? No. Is it better looking? Yes, probably is. And it's only because it's in this blacked out finish. Right, let's go with the, let's hit some pitching wedges. 43 degrees aloft. Probably put the flag out there at maybe 150 yards. Okay, I'm actually gonna put the flag at 140. I think 150 is a bit too ambitious. Um, pitching wedge, beautiful head shape. Like gorgeous, really, really nice behind the ball. Yeah, they're a, they're a, they're a good looking iron, no mistake. Okay, 140 yards, 43 degree pitching wedge. Beautiful, really nice feel. Slightly tugged it, but well, maybe not as far as I expected. Not terrible results on the green. Let's go another one. That was nice. The one thing I'm probably picking up on a little bit, certainly with this shorter and I can feel it a bit better, not long ago, I reviewed the new Opus wedges, and I was mentioning how the, the, the club felt very balanced. The Opus wedge from Callaway felt very balanced. This kind of has that same feeling. It's a very nicely weighted golf club. Um, whether that's the shaft, whether that's the weight of it, it just it feels very controllable, which is nice. That was a lovely golf shot, to be fair. Striking them nice. I might actually go in. Yeah, striking them really nice. Tiny pull, but again, not a bad result at all. Solid. I liked it. I've, so far, there's probably been one shot that I've hit badly. A lot of them have felt really, really nice. Let's, uh, I'm going to have fun, some fun with the four iron now, actually. This, this this is gonna be a lot of fun, I can already tell. Okay, 21 degree four iron, beautiful looking head. The only thing this time, just with that hollow head construction and the sole being a little bit fatter, I can actually just see the back of the, almost the the, the bum of the, of the iron sticking out the back edge, which again entices, maybe increases that kind of forgive, that, that confidence, but it's quite a thin top line and you've got this kind of booty sticking out the back, which, all right, it's kind of distracting my eye a little bit. Put the flag at 2.30. I'm, I'm already looking forward to hitting this golf club. That's a nice shot. 
little tiny butter fade. I didn't quite crush it front of the green. Oof. Felt good though. Balance wise again, the, the club feels balanced. Oh, that was hit the best of the best of the best of the best. I just slightly pulled it. Oh, I mean, I'm not overly disappointed from 230 yards, but just pulled it a fraction. Oh, that came out nice. It really did. That bottom line is perfect. I mean, it's comfortably on at 230 yards. I mean, that's really nice. It feels great. I could have a lot of fun with this four iron. I, I think the good sets, let's have a quick look at the numbers. But uh, I think, I do think it's a solid set. I'm just a little bit questioning the, the price tag. In fact, one more before we look at the numbers. Why not, eh? Oh, I didn't quite hit it as good. <laughs> I ruined that nice feeling that I had. Okay, let's have a look at these numbers. Uh, nice, really solid numbers. 7-iron was carrying at 175 yards. Again, it's 30.5 degrees aloft. So I'm expecting it to get kind of get at 175, 180 distance. So 175 is good on the average. I'm surprised by the spin, actually. Spin's over 6,000, which is really solid. Pitching wedge, 134 yards of carry distance. Again, 43 degree wedge, spot on. Spin rate's over 9,000, solid. 4-iron, really nice. 209 yards of carry distance. 4,000 spin, perfect. Um, for me, it's a, it is a very, very, very nice golf club. It's beautiful. It feels great. Does it feel much different to, as you saw me hit the P770? Not really. It just feels like a nice, hollow-headed golf club. I think it looks fantastic in this blacked out finish. But for a price tag of £2,000, you are really just paying for it to be a little bit flasher. Really, if I'm honest with you. Um, I would not recommend spending £2,000 on this set of irons. I would much prefer you to spend your money wisely on golf. But hey, you do you. If you want them, you go and buy them. Guys, thanks for watching. Stay tuned. Lots more to come. Got to finish on one more good one. Oh, yes. Woo! That's the one.